Right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awakened Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Oh, my goodness, feels like we haven't done a show in a long time, but it, we did shows last week. So it's like, yes, we are We are here. We're still doing shows. Um, today, I'm so excited because my good friend Marla Torres is back with us, and we are going to be talking about transforming allergy barriers into abundant flow, nurturing your energetic wealth masterclass, right? So this is what we're talking about today. Some of what we're going to talk about is uh, about stepping into a profound and uplifting journey into the realms of energetic allergy, healing, and prosperity. We're going to explore the profound impact of energetic allergy healing as it clears obstacles, mends past traumas, and aligns your mind, body, and soul. Marla is going to be conducting a group energetic allergy healing session to guide you in transforming your life by healing allergies related to abundance and money. All that and more. And for those of you who may not know Marla, she, she was with us last season, was the first time, but we're so happy that she's back with us. Her journey mirrors the mythical phoenix rising from life's trials to stand strong in her divine power. Her mission is to inspire others in survival mode, helping them reclaim their, un their inner strength and flourish. Marla values fostering a safe and loving community where every individual receives support on their journey to rise anew. And she employs ancient healing techniques to guide each person towards reclaiming their power. Um, so today, like I said, we are so excited that Marla is with us. She is going to be taking some live caller questions, um, not doing readings per se, but, you know, intuitively what comes to her. So no, uh, no personal allergy readings, but, um, you know, feel free to ask whatever you would like. And it is, of course, my deepest desire, wish and intention to bring forward to you these wonderful speakers who are sharing their wisdom, their teachings, their experiences, their practices, their healing energy techniques, and so on, so that we can all thrive in our lives. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so, so that you can have access to all the previous shows and all the live shows and the shows that are coming up in the future. So, uh, so now let's get started. So please join me in welcoming Marla back to the show. Marla, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me back. I'm excited to be here and share more about this amazing topic <laughs> yes i'm excited too because you know it's like you know when it comes to you know allergies we all have some sort of allergies right and so i think we might even want to start off by talking about specifically what allergies that you're speaking about today and then how can we turn turn that into the abundant flow how can we nurture our energetic wealth via the allergies so there's so much to talk about so <laughs> i'm excited so much <laughs> yes absolutely so yes i can go over a little bit about the description um of what energetic allergy healing this tool is um it's a unique life-changing modality that heals and clears allergies and inflammation from our bodies an allergy has been traditionally defined as a hypersensitive physical response to specific substances but it's so much more than that, really. An allergy is essentially inner resistance showing up as a negative immune reaction in your body. So resistance is the absence of harmony. When you are in any kind of resistance, whether it's emotional, mental, physical, and or spiritual, you literally absorb this resistance into your body. That is what allergies and inflammations are. Allergy healing releases this unconscious resistance and restores harmony by clearing deep negative programming, trauma, and emotions that are causing this resistance within you. When this happens, your body naturally falls back into alignment with your external and internal environment at the energetic and cellular levels. As a result, substances in your environment, such as grains, pollens and dust that previously caused an allergic reaction will no longer affect you because you've reached such deep harmony on an energetic and cellular level. And this I can attest to from personal experience. <laughs> and it's really fascinating to me because um, you know, I'm trained in Western medicine. I'm a, a nurse. I did critical care medicine for you know many, many years. And you know, it's all that view of allergies is definitely different. It doesn't look at the energetic um, component and re coming to realize after going to the training and, and working with them, that, um, you can be allergic to anything. 
honestly, and you may not um, really register having an allergic reaction to it because it may not be showing up as itchy eyes and um, you know itchy throat or you know the rhinitis, you know, runny nose, anything like that. It may not show up like that. Um, for example, my daughter, she was ten at the time. Um, she was having a hard time going to sleep in her bed. And so a backstory, the bed that she was sleeping in, was trying to sleep in, was the same bed that she had and was using when her father and I separated and went through a divorce. And it was um, not a fun time, <laughs> to just put it mildly. And so she had this allergic reaction to her bed. And so for a while, for quite a number of years, she wouldn't sleep in that bed. She slept with me because she just couldn't sleep in that bed. And then, you know, when she hit 10 and a half, she was like, okay, I'm ready to try again. And she was having a hard time. So I ran an energetic allergy healing session for her, for her bed, for the pillows, the blankets, the stuffy, like the whole nine yards. And it cleared up and she can sleep peacefully in her bed again. And to me, it was just fascinating. Um, to watch the shifts. I mean, I know this works. I've seen it work for me for physical symptoms, but on something, you know, like sleep, I, I would have never guessed until, like I said, until I went through the training and, and learned all this. I'm like, it's just so fascinating to me. I love it because it's not something that you would normally think of, right? You wouldn't say, oh, she's probably allergic right. to the bed or anything like that, right? It's, it's not something that we would automatically go to, right? Um, I'm just going to ask you a quick, right. quick uh, hmm, logistics technical question. Is anybody else having uh, trouble hearing Marla or like it's cutting out? No, just me? <laughs> okay, great. If it's just me, then it's just me. <laughs> I have an external microphone on. Do you want me to try do, like taking it, unplugging it and seeing if that's better for you? Oh, so Chris says yes. So, so I think that means that maybe it is uh, affecting the sound, like you are cutting out a little bit. That's what I thought. Okay, so I'll unplug it. Okay. Let's see. All right. We'll see if that's better. Oh, but Cindy said I can hear you both fine. Okay. <laughs> well, keep talking and then and then we'll let you know. Okay. If okay, it doesn't, we'll see if, if it... I need to plug it back in the internet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it'll, be, it'll be all perfect. <laughs> It'll all be perfect. Exactly. Um, so we have some people with their hands raised, but we're going to take some questions in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I find this, you know, this concept of allergy and allergy healing, energetic allergy healing, really interesting because I don't actually ha have an issue myself, very many allergies. I mean, I have some allergic reaction to medicine, but, I'll, you know, other than that. So Unfortunately, Marla, I am now hearing myself, <laughs> so I'm 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 getting the feedback. So maybe it's better with the with you plugging it in. Okay, let's try. Because <laughs> I can hear I can hear myself, and you know afterwards, which is confusing. There. Okay. All right. So, um, so let's go back to where, where we were. Hold on. Sorry. Yes. I'm like, what was I, what was I talking about? What was I saying? Uh, I know there's questions. You were saying that you don't really have a lot of allergies yourself. No, luckily. Thank goodness. I know people, a lot of people who do suffer from allergies, like every season or like, you know, all the time kind of thing. Thank God I do not. So, you know, so what inspired you to explore this connection between allergies and abundance specifically? Because I was also like, okay, well, what is it with that? I'm not getting it. So um, can you explain that part? Sure. So the allergy is created when there's a trauma, right? So a trauma or some sort of uh, malalignment. So if you've had any sort of trauma around money, what well, may not have been in this lifetime, been in other lifetimes too that is carried on a cellular level for you um, that was an allergy there can be there's that resistance right you're not having the flow so when you can go and look at that and clear out those allergies and help healing the traumas around money then that's when you can open up that energetic flow for being in the um, yeah in the receiving mode really to receive 
money and abundance in general. You know, I mean, money is just one form of abundance, but um, for that specific one, you know, and people can have, you know, develop food allergies, but often if you go back and look at what was going on when that food allergy first developed, look at what traumas were happening um, and dig deeper and when you can heal that, then you can notice that things shift and change for them and release the food again. So it's gonna work the same because money is just energy. Food is just energy. All of it is just energy. We, we as the human species put different um, levels of importance or value on things, but in reality, in the grand scheme of things, it's all just energy. It's all it is. So when you have an energetic block from a trauma to money, then it can be blocking you from receiving um, the financial abundance that you desire and that are, you are worthy of. Yeah, true. Everything is money and it is it, it is all dependent on what value, meaning or importance we give to anything, right? Yeah, 100%. Hundred percent. And so, um, when it comes to money, I mean, we've talked about money before on the show many many times. But what are some common limiting beliefs that people have about money? That and how can they identify and overcome them using this energetic allergy healing? And what are some of the beliefs around money that you have come across with people? So even just some beliefs for me for my life. I mean, growing up, like carrying, you know, money doesn't grow on trees and really just having this, um, like always having to worry about money. Like, no, we can't do this because it costs money. And no, we can't, no, 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 no. It's all these limitations around money in that place. And so I grew up believing that that's what, that money was you know, scarcity and that you know, money just doesn't fall off the trees. Like you have to work really hard and you have to do all X, Y, Z. And the reality is you don't. Um, and so for me, being able to go deeper and like in the, the funny thing with healing, you know, there's so many levels to it, so many layers. Like you think you've gone through and heal one thing and then something else comes up again. Um, and it's just, I would encourage y'all just to, stay the course <laughs> don't give up because you think you did it the first time but and there's always another layer so that's how even with my even with my money story there's so many layers so multi-dimensional and i'm i truly believe it's also ancestral that i have in my lineage that i'm meant to be clearing and healing um for my daughter and just for past past lineages also but you know that we have this um mentality even from society that just is telling us that money is only you know for the rich and famous or for you know these people that have worked their butts off to get to where they are and granted you when you manifest and when you you have to do work you can't just sit and twiddle your thumbs and hope that things will you know because you thought about it, you visualize that it's just going to magically happen. You you have to put some work into. You do have to put some work into. But it's not, um, it's not like what we've been told. <laughs> you know, it's it's really not. And sometimes in doing less is when you can become more abundant and productive. Like I've seen that so many times in life. Like you might work your tail off on something and only make X amount, but when you can relax, go into a uh, flow state, a receiving state, and you don't have to do so much and you can make more than what you just did when you worked your tail off. So it's just, there's all these different stories that we're told and I'm sure everybody has their own stories that they've heard from their childhood or from, you know, people around them. But the thing is, it can be healed. It can be essentially reversed. You can heal it and you can move to a state of being in receiving mode and, um, just be open and have that that flow on so many levels and so it's you know, our bodies are multi-dimensional our beings um energetic body our physical body all of this it's so many so many layers um so when you have disharmony or dis-ease in your body it's going to affect multiple things so that's where you can go in and look you might have an energetic allergy healing session and it doesn't come up 
because there's other layers that have to be addressed first, right? To be able to help those areas heal to then, it's like that ripple effect, that cascade effect. Then the other things are able to, you'll also see healing and changes in, in other areas. So um, as an example, an aside, like my teacher that taught me this course, um, this modality, she was speaking to how she ran an energetic allergy healing for her partner. And as an aside, he snored, he snored. Okay. She ran the energetic allergy healing for him. You know, need to listen to it for an X amount of times, do muscle tests and see how many times it needs to be listened to, what have you. But his snoring stopped in addition to the other things being healed and cleared. And so it's like, things are so much more connected than what we think, you know? And then once you can and go and dive deeper and start doing the work, you see like, oh, Oh, you know, like just like me with my daughter and the sleep in the bed, you're like, oh, okay, <laughs> like wow. It's, to me, that's what's so fascinating about this is because there are so many layers and levels, and you just keep discovering and and healing and expanding. And it's just it feels so incredible to be able to witness that for myself and for others, and to be able to offer this for others to heal because like I said I've seen how it works in my own life personally and it's just incredible I'm super super grateful <laughs> so I'm going to have to ask you about the snoring some other time because my husband snores and so I have not been able to sleep with him in years now I mean we've only been married for seven yeah. years so <laughs> but for the past few years <laughs> at least three four years we you know at least three uh we have not and it's like partly it's because of the snoring mostly it's because of the snoring it's like i just can't <laughs> if i don't sleep i am cranky <laughs> so we will talk about that some other time okay yeah. <laughs> so how does someone know <laughs> if they have allergies or energetic blocks related to money and abundance it's not just because oh the money's not coming in right how how do they know if they if they have that I think, again, it's going to be, there's a lot of individualized with this, this, with this question, because, um, like you said, it's not only because there's not a financial flow of money, because you can still have resistance and blocks to money. Um, even if you are what others may not think you're wealthy, you know, that's not, that's not, um, an indicator necessarily that you don't have any blocks. Um, I think diving into the sessions and diving in and seeing, um, cause in addition to running energetic allergy healing and doing muscle testing, I also connect with Akashic records and go, in, um, I'm also very intuitive. So just uh, get downloads and you just, um, it's one of those things that with energy healing in general, it's hard to put lay it out like an exact science because it's not exact science, right? You can't really explain all of the things that happen on an energetic level. Um, but I would venture to say that the vast majority of humans living on this planet today do have money blocks um, at some level, at some level or another. There, uh, We all have money blocks that we are working at clearing and healing because even if you are in an abundant state, it doesn't mean that there's not something that's going to happen, trigger to bring up past trauma um, and activate that block that may have been dormant. You know what I mean? It's like um, we have all these life lessons that we get to learn in this, this lifetime. And it can be um, rather surprising. It just, so an example, I moved from New York to Tennessee um, in back in 2022. And before I moved, like when I was getting ready to sell my place and all that, I, my allergies were off the charts. It was insane. Like I tried, I was trying everything. Well, not quite everything. I didn't go and get allergy shots or anything like that, but I did try some pharmaceuticals. I tried all these natural remedies. I tried energetic, like, you know, with Reiki, all the things that I knew and nothing was working. Um, I moved, still was having them. It still was not getting cleared. There was something there. And 
this past April, I did an energetic allergy healing. That's when I was introduced to energetic allergy healing. I did a session with my teacher and about six to eight weeks later, everything was gone. I was like, yes, this is amazing. And then this past November, I just moved again. <laughs> it wasn't as far, but I moved again and my allergy symptoms popped back up. So I was like, ah, look, there is something energetically around moving. Um, and I've been trying to dive deeper into it because I'm like, there's something else for me to heal. Even though I thought that I healed the first time around from the move um, and all the things that were the traumas that were deeply embedded around that, I realized that I healed one layer of them and now I get to look at them again. And um, just embracing that because like it's a beautiful opportunity to be able to continue to do the work and to have my body tell me like, hey, Marla, look at this here look at your attention one way or another like let's go back to this this one because we know it catches your attention so it's like okay this it's a beautiful opportunity to to just dive in and look and see but you know back to the question it's just really going to be an individual um case by case basis as to far as to um how deep or how um deep is not the quite right the word but the word's not but how impactful the money blocks are in each individual's life. And, you know, when it comes yeah. to doing the work that, you know, there's always work to be done, but we don't go looking for work. It's only when we're living our life, doing our thing, and suddenly something pops up in our face, then we do the work. We're not looking yes. for work, people, okay, ever. We're not, we're here to enjoy life, live our life. But when there's some stuff coming up in your face, that's when you do the, the work. And you get support if if you need it. Um, so can you share, Marla, some practical tips or some exercises that we can use to begin clearing our allergies or energetic blocks to abundance and improving our our money flow? Yeah. So my favorite one, and it's free, <laughs> is gratitude practice. Um, I know I've spoken about it so many times, and I love to speak about it because I. Again, I've seen how well it has worked in my life, you know, to go from um, a horrible divorce and bankruptcy to a place where I'm thriving. And I do accredit it to being in that gratitude flow, that gratitude state. So every day, write down three things I'm grateful for, a minimum of three things I'm grateful for. And just even if that few minutes it takes to pause to write them out, it kind of redirects your brain, redirects your flow, redirects your vibration. And for me, I, you know, I've heard about for years, they would hear about people say about being grateful. I'm like, okay, you know, and then the traditional around Thanksgiving time, you know, and it's much deeper than that. I started, um, when I really started to embark on my healing journey, um, I was introduced to Pam Grouch, she's an author. And she writes, she wrote a book called Thank and Grow Rich. And so I started reading it. And that was one of the experiments in her book was about writing out three things every day. And for me, I, um, I tend to need some accountability <laughs> so I don't just fall off the wagon. And so I started a Facebook messenger group and I just invited a bunch of my friends on there. And it's just, it's grown. Not everybody contributes every day. That's fine. The whole point of the matter is for me to show up for myself every day with gratitude. And so many have commented that even though they don't necessarily put their gratitudes into the space, just having that new message pop up reminds them to pause and, and to look for things to be grateful for. So to me, that's, it's worth it. It's worth it all because helping people realize the power and the magnitude of gratitude, like it really, is such a high vibrational feeling emotion that I mean it's higher than love on the vibration scale it's really it's really up there and so getting into that space you'll notice you'll feel a flow you'll feel um you'll just feel how energy flows differently for you at least I at least I have and I think that many people um 
that I've spoken to about it will agree also that there's, there's a different flow. There's a different vibe. And when I, I notice that when I'm in that state consistently, I don't have quote unquote money problems and there's it, things flow. I'm always, my needs are always met. And, um, I think that's like the biggest, the biggest tool. And I think oftentimes it might be overlooked as just being too simple, but it's not, <laughs> it's not too simple and it's super powerful. And like I said, you know, it's free. It just, you know, takes a few minutes of your time. And then if you really want to ramp it up for like, you're really in a funk, start a gratitude rampage, like start at your front door of your home, wherever you live and look at each thing that your eyes, that you lay your eyes on offer gratitude for it and go throughout your entire home doing that all the rooms everywhere and you'll get a, it gives you a high like it's so incredible like i always just feel so like alive so alive and joyful when i do that it's it's incredible it will change your day like that <laughs> That is so true. I totally agree. And I'm a big proponent of uh, gratitude as well. And, you know, and the thing is, you, it's about doing it regularly, we're doing it every day and really feeling it. It's not like one of those automatic rote kind of things that you do just, you know, like, I'm grateful for my house, I'm grateful for my kids, I'm grateful. No, like, really feel it, you know, and so I always say, yes, write down what you're grateful for, but how does it make you feel? right and that's the key is you want to tap into those feelings those emotions and um expand that out even more so, and grow that out so definitely I totally agree and I, I think that's why yeah. <clears throat> that's why people you know think it's so simple it's like well what's the point of just writing down what I'm grateful for it's it's not about writing it down it's about the feeling of it you know and the consistency yes. of it yeah yes exactly <clears throat> exactly and so hmm. um so gratitude is great, right? And um, you know, I you know, if people would just do it for thirty days, you know, that they would yeah. feel the difference for sure. Um, but 100%. really, really do it, really feel it, and not out of oh, I'm going to do this so that I can make money. No, you can, you <laughs> you can't really have an agenda like that. You know, that won't work. But no. it's just like just to be yeah. grateful. Yeah. Um. 100%. So what what are some? Oops, sorry. What are some um some key mind shift uh, mindset shifts that we need to make in order so, to fully embrace the abundance and attract it into our lives do you think well i think one of the places to start is looking at um do you feel worthy of receiving do you feel like you um are able to be trusted with um, the amount of money that you want like there's so many levels that when you stop and look at it there's, um, I think many of us have a fear around having a lot of money of, of being afraid that we will squander it, that we won't know how to manage it, that um, we'll end up failing at, at that, at being rich, at being wealthy. Um, there's so many um, little nuances to that, right? Even for me, looking back, you know, from when I started my, my spiritual journey of like, I didn't feel like I was worthy. I was like, who am I? You know, like, but being able to come around with all the amount of massive healing efforts that I have put in to the point of now, I'm worthy, you're worthy, we are all worthy of abundance and, and living in financial abundance also. And the the thing that how I feel like the gratitude ties into like every area of it, then is because once you start in that gratitude practice and then don't just let it be for those few minutes every day like continue it throughout your day you're not writing it down but just being in that gratitude flow you'll realize how much abundance you already have in your life how rich you already are and when we can be grateful for what we have truly grateful and content that helps shift things too because i think if you know, there's that law of the universe that what you, you know, when you want something, you're always going to be wanting it. And when you can be in this, the, um, the state of like, I am abundant, you know, so bringing in affirmations, writing them, 
saying them, even if it doesn't feel true to you in that moment, it takes time to kind of rewire our brains <laughs> to help our brains get to the point of like, oh, wait a second. Yeah, this is true. I am abundant. I am wealthy. I already have like all my needs are all met. Like everything, everywhere I look, I see abundance, you know? And so coming back to, again, it's a simple thing. Again, it, it's free right out that you can look and find so many um, money affirmations online. Because they're, they're out there. So you find the ones that really resonate with you, write them down, stick them on your mirror. Um, I have some that um, they're clear. They're not really stickers, but they're like vinyl Klingons. And I have them all over my water container and infuse my water with that. Because, you know, our bodies are made up of so this high percentage of water. I forget the exact percentage and I've seen varying numbers. So I'm not sure exactly which one's correct, but we are a lot of water. So when we can even charge our water. So that's one of the one of the offering in my offering, one of the pieces is this uh, frequency of prosperity with the Mag Healy, and you can use it to charge your water and then drink your water. And that's filling your cells with that energy too of prosperity and abundance. So you have all of these um, tools really to help you get started with this, with the gratitude, with the affirmations, with coming back to really just sitting with yourself for a moment and seeing like, do I truly feel worthy of abundance? You know, I say that I don't have it, but why is that? Is it because I don't feel worthy? And then why don't you feel worthy? Were you told you weren't worthy? Or did you hear something that you assumed that that meant that you weren't worthy? Like there's so many um, situations and examples that it could be, but really coming back to that, like embracing I am worthy of abundance. I am worthy of financial abundance. Um, and to the point where you don't feel a resistance when you say it, right? Because when you first start, you will feel a little bit of resistance if you don't truly believe that. But then the more you get into this state, this flow with the gratitude, with the affirmations, with you know, you, using frequencies, charging your water, like even bringing crystals into your home, you know, that's an investment. And, but you can find some that are smaller that, you know, it doesn't have to be a huge, massive, stunning crystal. They all have energy that can help support you with that too. Um, you can get a clear quartz and charge it yourself and set the intention for it to help you with that. So there's so many options that are either free or don't cost a lot of money to help you with shifting the way you're thinking because we are creators of our reality. We manifest, we're able to manifest. And that's why, you know, even writing it down, we're creating a spell right with our words. And it's also helping with the manifestation process. So speaking it, writing it, thinking it, feeling it, like all these things just coming together to help just create this powerhouse to help boost you and to help you with, um, becoming more aligned to being into that flow state. I love that. Yeah, thank you. I also, I just want to add one more quick little thing that I also do is I question my beliefs. You know, so mm -hmm. if I have like, you know, a fear come up of some sort, like I sometimes do, for example, like my exam on Friday, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I can't do it. I don't, I, I don't know. It's like, okay, hold on, stop look at all the other exams you've done look at all the other things you've done and look at all look just look 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 and then it's like oh yeah i can do it you know i, I i've got this right so it's like we, we we sometimes have to you know talk to ourselves and question our beliefs and say no that is not true and that's not valid maybe that was valid for me when i was five years old but it's not valid now yes right because some of these beliefs again come from our childhood and as much as we do a lot of the healing work and clearing work, sometimes, you know, small residual patterns come up, right? And that's when we have to say, no, <laughs> that is not valid yep. for me anymore, right? So question yep. as well, uh, the, the beliefs that are coming up for you. Yes. Um, so we have, we are going to be doing a, a group uh, meditation process 
healing session a little bit later, but we do have a lot of people with their hands raised and some questions in the chat. Do you want to take some questions? Yes, sure. And I was trying to answer some along the way of the chat as I saw them. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're going to go start with Tanya, who has her hand raised. You want to go ahead? Hello, ladies. Hi, Tanya. My question is, I don't have like seasonal allergies or, you know, um, like special food allergies, but I feel like I have a lot of intolerances, especially as I get older. And at the moment I have like problem with my eyes and I know it is something I eat and my lip, my lips crack. I don't know how it connected, to, if it is connected to my finances or anything. I'm sure I have all sorts of, you know, <laughs> like a problem receiving or not being good enough or stuff. But it's it's very odd because it's it kind of happening now at the same time. My finances are not in a good situation and something I eat doesn't I mean, my body doesn't react well. So if you have any kind of intuition on, on, on what's going on, please. Right away, what came up when you were speaking that is that you are already answering your own question. You already <laughs> know. You already know. Because we all are our own healers, right? So healers like Alara and myself and other, there's so many of us we're here just to help support you, but ultimately you are your own healer. So you are the one and you know, we are all intuitive. We all have that intuition that um, we maybe just haven't listened to it so much, but just hearing you speak that, I'm like, she already knows. You already know that connection. You're speaking that connection. Um, so there is something there. Um, you know, we could definitely go deeper in a session, but I think you are you are onto something you're tapping into that for sure that connection and feeling it um so okay. listen some more to what your intuition is telling you i should do body uh how you call it a question my body <laughs> yeah what question is your body you know do some muscle testing or um you know muscle yeah. testing you can learn it easily and feel into it sometimes you don't even have to do muscle testing you just know you just have that inner mm -hmm. that gut feeling <laughs> that you just know um, well, sometimes the thoughts come into my head, but in this case, it has been going on for a month now, and I have to work on it, I think. Yeah. Almost All right. Love. <laughs> Thank you so much. Much love to you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Tanya. All Thank right, you. Sarah has a question. You're muted, love. <clears throat> Okay, I'll come on for just a second and then I'll just leave you with the sheep. I had facial surgery yesterday. Um, my allergies just get worse as I get older and I do a lot for them. I take a lot of quercetin in the morning on an empty stomach. I won't go through all the details. I eat an anti-inflammatory diet and I have calmed down my arthritis tremendously with the uh, anti-inflammation stuff, but you know, I knew somebody and and their post nasal drip came from a lifetime where they were very sad and they were still weeping all the time. I'm not sure what mine comes from, but it is constant. And right now it's a little difficult with um, a bandaged nose to. <laughs> so yeah, any insight or any uh, help would be great. Thank you. Oh, and as far as money, you know. I don't worry about it. I live extremely cheaply and it seems to be enough. But I do I do have a lot of gratitude stuff going on. Oop. Yeah, gratitude is awesome. Um yeah, it it'll be interesting because I'm gonna do the group session. I I won't be able to go into everybody's individual um stuff, but It'll be interesting to see what comes up in the group session that resonates with you, Sarah, that you really feel um, a resonance with. And yeah, I, I can't, nothing specific is coming up as to what is causing your post-nasal drip um, without diving deeper into the into the kits and, and doing the muscle testing and all the things, but yeah. 
Okay. I, I, I did an allergy thing with somebody who was on a Lara show and I can't understand why I didn't follow through with it because my allergies are so bad, but I did part of it and it was just, there was some resistance there. Maybe yeah. I wasn't ready to clear it, but it's year round. I used to think mm -hmm. it was the pollen from the tree I mistakenly planted in front of my house, but it's just all year. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So, so stay tuned for the That's process, right. Sarah, okay? Yes. All right. Um, Simone, I know you had put some stuff in the chat and you already have your hand raised too. So you want to unmute? Simone? Yeah, I am unmuted. Mm -hmm. so Go ahead. For me, it's around... Um, I have problems with my gums and the teeth. And I changed my diet. I cut people out of my life because I knew there was something else behind it. And it got worse, interestingly, over mm -hmm. time. Even though I really put out stressors I had, it's like whatever I do, it doesn't get better. And it, even financially, the same. It's like, whoa, I don't know anymore. When we were talking was about like the gratitude and affirmations and stuff and the worthiness, did any of that resonate with you? It feels more safety. Mm. It's a big issue and not being able to change anything. Mm. Really, I feel my nervous system really going haywire. So it's really a feeling in my heart. Track. A lot of fear is coming up. Like, oh, I can't give up with anyone, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm just hearing um, root chakra meditation. Um, and I'm also, as far as your gums, have you tried oil pulling with coconut oil? That was I just coming through when you were speaking. I'm doing it with oil, yeah. And yeah. with etheric oil so it helps a little bit with inflammation but it's not really calming down gotcha yeah those were the two things that came to intuitively aside from the energetic allergy healing um but yeah i, I know and there's there's a lot of different meditations on youtube you can look for um for your for your root chakra and then when we do the group process we'll do a a heart centering meditation too and that was part of the free gift so you can um always download that too and sit with it and work with it oh that's lovely also i was going to add really quickly also about trust so i i know for myself in the past when i used to have safety issues or control issues um it had to do with lack of trust lack of trust in myself lack of trust in the divine lack of trust in the universe so uh, trust is a big thing for me that I've been working with for a long time. And I think it's it's gotten much, much better in the past uh, past couple of years. So that is something you might want to look at as well, Simone, is trust. Where are you not trusting yourself, the universe, the divine, et cetera, life, et cetera, okay? I'm not sure if it's only trusting or if it's being afraid that when I have it all, I'm I'm not safe at all, you know, mm -hmm. like that, <laughs> because it feels like something is. Well, you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah, you got to you got to start somewhere, and uh, and then from there, then see what what comes after that. But um... in the past, it was not trusting myself yet, and the worthiness stuff was there. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Simone. I t I can totally resonate, by the way, with the whole the the trusting piece. Sometimes not feeling safe, etc. And yeah. Um, all right. So Cindy had did I miss some? Cindy had written in the chat. Uh, I have seasonal allergies all year long and take medication with a decongestant daily. I wish there was a remedy to delete them altogether. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's well, not a magic fix, a quick fix, but definitely doing the work with energetic allergy healing will help. Um, you'll see a difference. Yeah, and mold is definitely, uh, I hate to say it, is a no-no. It's like, oh my goodness. I, I, I remember once there was mold and um, I was visiting my daughter in her apartment. There was mold. I couldn't even stay. I'm really uh, sensitive to it. I can definitely feel it in my field right away. So that can definitely yeah. affect you for sure. Um, all right. Uh, iPhone, iPhone. I think it's Stella. I thought I saw her face a little while ago, but I could be wrong. Phone number ending in 6648. The iPhone that has their hand raised. Do you want to unmute yourself? I think it's Stella, but I could be wrong. Whoever. Okay. Anyways, um, just seeing if there was any other questions in the chat really quickly. So we are going to do a process in just a few minutes, but before that, I want to just quickly talk a little bit about the package and that way uh, Marla can talk a little bit more about the energetic healing. Um, so I'm going to share my screen in one second. Um, let's hope I pick the right one, the right screen. You should be able to see my screen now. And so the, the package that Marla is offering is the Unlock Your Potential one-on-one -on -one Energetic Allergy Healing Session. So it's uh, normally $297, so 65% off for $97. And so Marla, do you want to talk a little bit about the allergy healing session for everyone? Sure. So when we, um, we'll have a Zoom call. Uh, prior to the Zoom call, I had, do have an intake form to help um, have you fill out that. It helps me kind of with preparing for our call together. And then we go into what you, should, what you have in your intake form. We'll go through the energetic allergy healing kits. I have a big, you can't really see, big binder <laughs> of all the kits. So there's, there's literally hundreds um, that we'll go through a muscle test and see what's coming up for you specifically. Um, we'll see what your body can handle to clear because you definitely can't handle to clear them all at one time. It'd be too much and it'll put you into um, this healing crisis. So we, we avoid that. And um, I will also do the I'll have you a recording. And then separately, when we do the actual run the clearing, I do a separate recording of that for you along with the heart breath meditation for you to listen to uh, on repeat. So the first time you re-listen to it after our session, you would want to really sit and be present, really be intentional while you listen, but then for however many times after. So sometimes, um, so example for my session that I did the first one was twice a day for four weeks. At the end of four weeks, I intuitively checked in and I needed a couple more weeks. So I did a couple more weeks of it. Um, so when you listen subsequently after the first time, you don't have to be sitting with intention, just kind of bring yourself into your heart space and play it. You can be going about your day, um, put it right on right before you go to sleep, that kind of thing. And um, also I'll be sending you a recording of the frequency of prosperity through the Mag Healy that you can use to infuse your water, you can use to um, just infuse your energy field wherever you are. You can use that um, in, in any any way that serves you for your highest and greatest good. And um, and then if there's time left over in the session, we'll tap in with your Akashic Records and just see any, anything else that wants to come through for you to help with your healing where you are right now. Awesome. And so this uh, this session is uh, $97, like I said, and there's a two-part payment plan available. And of course, if you are an Inner Circle member, please do use your gift code. And um, so in this session, Marla, obviously they're going to get the recording and it's going to be on Zoom. And how far in advance are you booked? Um, I have openings. I mean, after the holidays, I would say yeah. would be probably the best. Um, but yeah, we... I have openings out as far as you need. And if you don't see anything on my calendar that works with you, just send me an email and um, we'll we'll work it out. Awesome. Good. Thank you. All right. So that was the session with Marla. Um, iPhone, are you there? If you have a question, 
you can unmute. Otherwise, we're going to go into the um, process meditation. Energy. <laughs> the energy healing session, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just checking if there's any other questions, if I missed anything. I think we're good. All right. So in, oh, there's, there's Estella. That's that me. I didn't, I didn't realize it was me. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> you had a question for Marla? Yes, I have a lot of issues with allergies, but it's not all the time. It's all of a sudden, like uh, two nights ago, I had a couple of uh, chamomile tea, and all of a sudden, I broke out and, and, and sweat all red, itching. I don't know why. Hmm. So it, it's food, mostly food, certain hmm. foods that I get allergies to. But my financial are okay. And I'm, I'm okay with my finances and uh, and I worry about money. What about your relationship? Oh yeah, that's a mess. <laughs> that's a mess. He says he lives and he hasn't left. Ah. And we haven't <laughs> been able to talk and it's a, it's horrible. So it's because mm. of that, huh? Yeah, because like again, abundance is not just about money. It's about you know, all the good things in your life, right? Right. So the relationship, unfortunately, is not a good thing. No, life. it's not. So that's what is causing it, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> that's what I. That, that, that's what I think, Marla. Sorry, I I, I interrupted. No, that that will that will definitely do it. Um, I I've been there with I've been there, <laughs> I've been there with the relationship is is no bueno, and and you end up having a disease as a result of that so i mean alara hit it. it i don't feel anything else coming up differently than what alara said and just knowing that from personal experience that that can be a huge part of issues like that yeah okay thank you yeah sending you so much love thank you thank you. you thank you stella thank you, thank you. <laughs> Somehow I was a feeling I booked the wrong all inclusive. Ah, uh, I don't know what you mean, Simone. I can... No, whenever anything could go wrong, it's like I had some mess everywhere. <laughs> so I want <laughs> all inclusive in a positive way, but I got, you know, more the negative ways. That's why I need to laugh. <laughs> ah, yes, got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Totally understandable. And sometimes we do have that feeling for a while, right? That, oh my God, everything is is wrong, right? Yeah, totally understand. But that can, of course, be changed too, Simone, you know? So things can start to change that track and go on a different route, go in a different way, okay? All right, so I think we are ready, Marla, for the energy healing allergy and energetic healing process <laughs> sure so let's we'll start with the heart breath connection meditation and then i'll go through the kit and just see what's coming up um, as priority for the group and then i'll run that clearing and i'll have a separate recording that i can um send to you alara too that you can put with the replay so people Thanks. can just listen to that um, Sounds good. They awesome. To, Thank you. They have to go through the whole, <laughs> the, whole <laughs> the whole call to find it. <laughs> Why not? There's so All much right. wisdom in the call too. But yeah, I totally understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because if you're listening, if it if it, whatever comes through is probably gonna be a, two to three times a day for however long. You know. It's, it, um, yeah. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. For because I know everybody has busy lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's try and uh, make it smooth. All right, so go ahead and let's just, if you can, if you're not driving, not doing anything that requires your focus, just come into a place where you can close your eyes. Take a deep breath, centering yourself in your heart. Taking a moment to call back all of your awareness all parts and aspects of you now in this moment. Begin to breathe slowly and deeply, imagining that you are breathing in and out of your heart. 
Breathe for a five second inhale and a five second exhale if you can. Now notice a ball of light out in front of you. It is pink. It is pure compassion energy. Begin to breathe this pink light into your heart with each inhale. See this pink light flowing into your heart, lighting up every cell of your heart with each breath. Your heart gets brighter with this light. Feel your heart space begin to expand with this beautiful pink light. Now notice a pillar of light forming around your expanded heart space. Let's extend this pillar of light down from your heart, down through your body, through your legs, your feet, connecting into your earth star chakra just below your feet and sending it down into the center of the earth until you come to the crystalline core of Gaia, where you will see, feel, or imagine a warm golden light. This is the heart chakra of Gaia. Now connect your pillar of light into the heart of Gaia, feeling into this connection that exists between your heart and the heart of Gaia. Ground and anchor yourself there. Now begin to draw this golden love light from the heart of Gaia, the unconditional love and support that Gaia holds for you back up through your pillar of light into your earth star chakra, into your feet, up your legs, into your root chakra, your sacral, your navel chakra, your solar plexus, into your heart, seeing your heart expand with this golden love light. Now let's extend your pillar, which is filled with that pink light of pure compassion and the golden love light from Gaia up from your heart now into your high heart chakra your throat chakra your third eye your crown your soul star which is about 12 inches above your crown extending your pillar of light up and connect it in with higher self your i am presence your divine aspect in a moment to connect heart to heart with the highest aspect of self that you can access in this now moment. Good. Now, as you breathe through your heart, begin to extend your pillar of light up, 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 up past the universe, out as far as you can go into pure source light, pure creation energy. Noticing the pure iridescent source love light that is all around you. Feel yourself anchored into this light and allow yourself to soak in the pure source of source energy, feeling the connection that exists between your heart and the heart of creator as you breathe. Now begin to imagine that iridescent source love light flowing down your pillar, through your chakras, and into your heart, seeing your heart expand with all of this light now. Noting how all of this light in your heart together creates a beautiful rose gold light. Notice how with each breath, this light is expanding to fill every cell of your body and all the space in between. See your whole body glowing with this rose gold light. Good. Noticing now how as you continue to breathe through your heart, this light is expanding out beyond your physical body filling your entire toroidal field so that you are the center of a ball of light that is about 12 feet in diameter and is filled with this rose gold light. Take a moment to imagine or feel how bright all of this light is within you and all around you. Feel how loved and supported you are in this sacred space. Holding the intention here to ground and anchor yourself into all of this light and into these essential connections now. Staying anchored into the fifth dimensional Gaia grid, grounded and connected into all of the light as we move through the rest of the session and as you move through the rest of your day or night. Now you can go ahead and come back to space.
wiggle your fingers and toes and open your eyes when you're ready. You can just stay. I invite you to stay in this, um, still in this state of breathing in with your heart as I go through the kits and see what is coming up as for the highest and greatest good of all on this call and on the replay to have the allergies cleared. I'm just going to Okay, so I'm going to be going through my book <laughs> with all the kits and muscle testing to see what comes. So, and then I'll be typing them down on my little notepad here so we can run the clearing. All right, but any in this section? Yes, okay, that's dampness. Dampness was coming up. Uh, any more in this section? No. Any in this? Here, 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 here. And vitamin. Let's see, do we need to go through separate vitamins? Yes. The vitamin A section? No. Vitamin B? No. Vitamin C? Vitamin C, do we need to go down through each one? No. So the vitamin C group. All right, vitamin E, vitamin E, vitamin C, no, okay. vitamin K, iron, salt. All right, any in elements, minerals, toxic metals, any in this section? No, 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 this section, this section, this section, this section, okay. This section here, here, here. Pathogens, molds, fungus, any in this row, the column? No, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, okay. Candida. Monilia A. Okay. Any more in this column? No, this column, no. this one, this one, okay. One, this one. This one, this, this one, this one, this one, this one. Over here, here, here. Pathogens, yeast, and parasites in this section. Here, 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 here. Parasites. I'm getting bioengineered genetically modified parasites, program parasites. Okay. Else in this section. This one. This one. Yes. Okay. This one. Our tape worm also came up. Okay. Anything else in this page? Right here. Anything under viruses? No, no, no. Here, 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 here. Here, here. Bacteria. Yes. Come on, kitty. Come, baby. You need to move over there. Okay, stay right there. Mama's doing this, okay? Okay, we need for bacteria. Let's go. This one, this one. This one. Here, 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 here. Emotions. Okay, emotions with around bacteria. Let's see. Acceptance. Okay. 
Any more? Over here, good bacteria. Lactobacillus is the whole, the whole lactobacillus family. All right, let's see. Are we can add any other allergies, priority allergies to this session for this group today without throwing them into a healing crisis and having them clear it all successfully in 100%? No. Okay, so we are at our limit here. Let me get the little recorder up. Okay. All right, in divine love and light, run sacred light purification, sacred light flush, and sacred light defrag to assist with this energetic allergy healing. Also run relationship trauma release, harmony, peace, and balance restored and resolving inflammation as well as Archangel Michael's Blue Cloak of Protection. Create or change it. Okay, in Divine Love and Light, run an energetic allergy healing for dampness, the vitamin C group, for Candida monilia A, for bioengineered genetically modified parasites and programmed parasites, for tapeworm, and for the emotions around bacteria acceptance and for the lactobacillus family. Heal these allergies and all relationships between all of these allergies and everyone on the call now and on the replay, create or change it. Anchoring this healing in now, anchoring it into your heart and high heart, mind and higher mind, anchoring the healing into your cells, your DNA and RNA, into your nervous system, into your earth star chakra, into the heart of Gaia, into your soul grid, and into all 12 dimensions now. Create or change it. That is the energetic allergy healing. And we will, let's muscle test now to see for how many times a day. One, two, two times a day. And let's see for how many days for less than a week yes okay one two three four five for five days see so we listen to this clearing two times a day for five days um the first time you re-listen to it just invite you to be in a space of stillness um it would probably be um, a good idea to do the heart breath meditation and then um, listen to this recording. It was like less two minutes. And then for subsequent ones, you can just say it just with the intention, like holding, centering yourself in your heart and holding that intention um, to receive it while you go about your day. And that we are complete. Oh, wow, Simone. That's incredible. And Tina. Nice. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us. Wow. Thank you. I was, uh, I feel like I just slept for like half an hour <laughs> or something, you know, but uh, nice. <laughs> um, I definitely feel like I just woke up, you know. Uh, I was yawning a lot during the whole the, the meditation and, and, and the clearing, just lots of releasing happening. How's that? How is uh, everyone doing? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, how are you all doing? I saw the messages from Simone and Tina. That's awesome that you you know yeah, awesome. tuned into that, tapped into that as well, and yeah. and just knowing Simone that you your body calmed down as uh, as as Marlo was talking about the parasites, right? Um, and. Simone says, just since you checked what needed to be included, it's all calm. Awesome. Valerie felt really good. Mm, Thank you. Yay. Good. Awesome. And so um, Marla is going to be sending me that that recording for the clearing. So I will add that to 
the emails and all that stuff so that you can uh, access it. And of course, the, the free gift of heart centering meditation is already on the free gifts page, but I think I will um, add it to the email as well, just so it's easier for people to access, to have it. Okay, any uh, Manchu? Felt a lot of energies, finding it powerful. Powerful, thanks, good. Simone says, I feel totally mm. safe. <laughs> awesome. That's great. Mm, I love that. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, Simone. <laughs> Good. Um, I definitely, I would, like, I always suggest drink lots of water, right? So drink water, round, all that wonderful stuff. Water. Yes. Any any last words of wisdom for us, Marla? That was great. Like I said, I feel like I just had a, I had a nap. Just like, you know, so. Yay. I'm so glad to hear that. I would just say, you know, just, you know, say, just to empower you, just, you know, you guys, each one of you are your own healer. You got this and there's lots of us here to assist you on your journey, um, but never doubt your own ability to heal yourself because you can do this. Yeah. But if you do need support, Marla's session is available for you as well. So please do take a look at the special offer yes. page and book a session with Marla. And the, the session with Marla, yes, it's going to be with these uh, the energy, allergy clearing, but also other stuff may, may also come up, right, Marla? Some other intuitive stuff may come up as well, as stuff from the Akashic Records. That's what I've been finding with my sessions. Yeah, so much comes up. Like sometimes the energetic energy healing part goes quickly and we just have time to like go into the Akashic record and answer what, you know, questions or what have you. So there's, it's, it's really fascinating to see how each one flows, but there's, I would say nine out of 10 times extra time to go and dive a little deeper. Awesome. Good. Thank you. Yeah. So that, that was, that was great. Um, so thank you everybody for all your questions and thank you, Marla. This was awesome. Amazing. I, I love the the heart centering meditation. I felt really good. Like I said, I was gone. I was. I feel like I slept. Um, and then the clearing, <clears throat> the the allergy clearing. Um, it, it it also you know as you were you know figuring out what it was to do. It's like, um, like Simone says, my my body just calmed down. I was just able to relax and I was just able to receive right, receive the healing without having to go into thinking about what could it be or what should it be. Just like just whatever it needs to be right yeah so uh so yeah so thank you for that um and so again we're all we're all going into the holidays now of some sort i mean it's a holiday season and so it's a stressful time so of course everyone please take it easy <laughs> take it easy take it easy take it easy and um of course we are all here still um if you need support all of the special offer pages are available. And of course, Marla's offer is available as well for doing a session right after the holidays, right? So we are going to be spending some time with our families and friends and loved yeah. ones. But right after the holidays, if you'd like to book a session with Marla, please do so, okay? Yeah. All right, so thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. you. And Sarah, I'm glad to see you're doing well. Um. So yeah, so that's good. All right. So thank you so much, everyone. And happy holidays, season greetings, Merry Christmas, all that wonderful stuff. Okay. <laughs> and until next time, we'll be back next week. We have a our show next week with Matthew. Okay. So until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, radiant health. Sending you all so much love and blessings. Bye for now. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much, Marla. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, y'all.